Hi everybody, it's Dave from Wing Chun Mind Force. I'd just like to thank you for your um, great comments, your subscriptions and your enthusiasm this year. It's been a great year. And here on um, Christmas Eve 2021, I'm making the last of my bus videos for the year, at least in this dear old bus. Um, we've got a new one coming. So just give you a look around in my favorite beautiful spot. Obviously I'm dressed <clears throat> as I normally do throughout the year. You just haven't seen me. Um, but especially around this time when I'm getting all the presents ready. Oh, I shouldn't, shouldn't give away that secret. Anyway, I'm sure you've all been good and you'll have lots of presents coming. So um, just in regards subscriptions, I've got 928 um, subscribers on the channel today and I'm really keen and eager to get to a thousand so if anybody can um, boost me a bit tell your friends let people know I'd like to see that a thousand in the next couple of weeks who knows is it possible um, maybe I have to do some kind of giveaways or whatever people do <laughs> some Wing Chun giveaways anyway this has been a great year and <clears throat> I've really enjoyed myself and I know a lot of people have enjoyed the videos and especially the uh, interviews with well-known senior Wing Chun practitioners, the Sifu series. I made a vow just over a year ago to make a video a week and I've stuck to that and it's done me a lot of good and I've produced quite a bit of content and I like to think that most of it's useful. I know I'm a bit of a windbag sometimes, but I'm always sincerely trying to give you good stuff that'll help you with your Wing Chun, especially if you're isolated. Um, I've had conversations with people about learning online and, and how difficult it is or even impossible to get good at Wing Chun without an actual teacher. And um, it's a bit of a contentious subject, but personally, I think... If you're intelligent and you listen and you can be taught, you can learn a heck of a lot from just listening as people like me and and, and the other good teachers online and um, just practicing what we're telling you to do and you'll discover it for yourself. You are a human. We all have the same body, the same type of setup. Well, you know, there is differences between people and different sort of natural talents, but you can go a long way. Um, even without a teacher, if you can get to somebody, somebody like myself, or <clears throat> Nima King, Bo Bazaar, or, you know, all the other wonderful Sifus I've been talking to, Chu Shong Tin, if you want to learn our lineage's approach, which I believe is the actual proper approach in Wing Chun, the mind force approach. Um, you know, you can gain a lot from just spending a bit of time with somebody and getting them to test you and show you things and you can go and, go and work on that. But it is a personal project, Wing Chun. It's not really about standing with 50 other people sweating away doing punches and kicks. It is an internal investigation. So don't feel bad if you're isolated. You can still go a long way with your Wing Chun. And... Um, in my videos this year, I've covered Yi, which is one of my favourite topics, um, which I discovered through wonderful videos of, of Sifu Mark Ho in Sheffield in England with Sung Wing Chun and um, videos by Horace Chu and essays by Horace and <clears throat> people like Tony Blenkow and Lindy Scott, who talked to me a lot about intent, taught me a lot about how intent works. And, you know... The funny thing is everybody feels like they've got a bit of a different approach, but I've found talking to all the Sifus and talking to people who've written to me, we might use different words, but we're still saying the same sort of thing. And it's surprising sometimes things, there's a bit of a wall that might break down once you start working with somebody, you realise, yes, they're using different words, but it's the same stuff, the same experiences. And... Um, I've covered uh, Chum Q, <clears throat> Bill G Form, The Dummy, 
and there's still the hell of a lot I can do with those forms, but I did make a vow to go through <clears throat> and at least give you some kind of introduction to those forms and, and some of the ideas that I believe are what they're about. And I feel like I've done a pretty good job, um, if I must say so myself. When I watch my own videos, I think, yeah, that's right, Dave, yep. You've got it, mate. Um, I started on the knives. It was a little bit half-baked. <clears throat> so next year I'm going to make serious videos about the knives, the pole, um, and much more about chi sao. I've been having some great conversations about chi sao. <clears throat> In the Sifu series, uh, I talked to some real legends. Um, Sifu Karen Armstrong who anybody who knows, um, long, long-term practitioner, one of the best women ever, um, really entrained with my um, favourite woman, Sifu, Susanna Ho, who I greatly respect. Um, a wonderful person, Karen. She gave me some fantastic videos, which you'll see in there. Um, she was a real mover and shaker in the TV and promotional world of Wing Chun back in the 80s and 90s and she did a lot to make Wing Chun what it is, at least in Australia. Uh, talked to Sifu Rob Kerry, who now lives in Brisbane, who's one of the early practitioners in, in Adelaide and uh, went to Hong Kong a number of times and trained with Sigong. Back in the old days, uh, of course, legendary Nima King, Sifu Nima King in Hong Kong, mindful Wing Chun, they were two great... Um, parts of that interview he very graciously gave me and I enjoyed it heaps and learned a lot about the history of Chu Chong Ting Wing Chun and Yip Man Wing Chun in Hong Kong, learned a lot about uh, Si Gong's approach and Nima's experiences. Uh, <clears throat> the legendary Sifu Bo Bizarre, who's just featured in a whole, whole lot of videos that I made and there's so much in there to unpack. <clears throat> it's amazing. It was just at the, it came at the right time for me, and I think for you, um, his breakdown of the Sil Nim Dao form is quite inspired. And um, you know, we were friends before, but we've become um, good friends now. And and uh, it's great to have somebody like him to communicate with, to ask questions of. And um, I've got lots of. Great friends. I'm very lucky to make a lot of great friends in Wing Chun. People who are very good at it. <clears throat> and um, next up, I've got uh, a two-part interview with Sifu uh, Kevin Earl from New Zealand Wing Chun. Another very long practitioner who actually taught Bo in the early days, in the 70s. And the first part of the interview, he talks about the history of... Um, Kung Fu and Wing Chun in New Zealand and even talks a bit about the real old days going back to the 1800s, early mid-1800s when the Chinese first came to New Zealand and um, some of the stuff that was going on in the 70s and then in the second part um, Kevin talks about um, his approach to Wing Chun which is uh, pretty spectacular and I'll be cutting in some videos uh, clips from his demonstration videos that will blow your mind with him doing the poll and talking about the dummy and doing other things and he's a very remarkable guy <clears throat> um i've also got i'm in neg negotiation with a number of other uh, well-known uh, wing chun sifus i won't mention any names some people are a little coy and um are harder to draw out to get to speak to um Scary old Dave. <laughs> I don't think that's the problem. Though. They're just <clears throat> private people, I guess, and um, you can't expect everyone to be happy standing in front of or sitting in front of a camera talking, bearing their soul. But I will uh, continue to work on getting the most interesting people to talk to and um, hopefully that will continue your viewing pleasure throughout 2022. Um, I just wanted to say a couple of words about self-training. Um, 
something that's sort of a, a well-known fact, which I learnt from two other practices I do. Well, I guess three, art, drumming, Scottish drumming particularly, and um, learning languages. Uh, a little bit a day is better than a whole lot one day a week or one day a fortnight. <clears throat> Something to do with the human brain, but if you just put aside five or ten minutes a day to do your Wing Chun, to practice your forms, whatever you're into, it sort of has a more massive effect on your progress than if you just do a heap. Um, it's actually a bit like when I used to surf go down from Brisbane, the big city, go down every week or two to the beach and surf all weekend. And it was usually by the end of the weekend, I was really back into being a surfer and surfing well. But when I finally moved to the beach and surfed every day, it doesn't matter whether it was slop or really going off, I just reached a whole different level because you be sort of become surfing. And that's what I say about Wing Chun. You want to be Wing Chun, you know. Wing Chun wants to be not your religion, but a major part of your life. You do it every day. You're a you're a kung fu disciple or kung fu master or whatever level you're at. But you need to practice every day. You know, if you're in the Shao, Shaolin Temple, they'd be kicking your ass in the morning, getting you off your um. I don't know what they sleep on. <laughs> a mat on the ground or something, get up and have your bowl of rice, nice hot cup of tea and get into it, mate. Um, so it's good to have a routine in uh, what I call the virtual Shaolin temple of our Wing Chun life. And um, I want to particularly encourage those who are more advanced to really look at your dummy because I've been... I've been practicing the dummy for quite a number of years, but in the last year especially, I've realised what an incredible thing it is. And, and Bo really said this to me, and I'd, I've got it written up on my wall, you know, the dummy's a meditation device. And I think of all the Wing Chun as a meditation device, but the dummy's quite an incredible thing. It's not for banging, it's for using all that effortless force going in and out, all the movements, all the center, all your balance, everything gets tested on the dummy. The dummy gives you feedback constantly. It never gets tired of doing it for you. Um, it's very unresisting, but when you do it right, you can feel the thing and it almost feels like the woods or the timbers bending sometimes when you're really in the right zone. It's like you really connect to it and it, you're sort of both creaking in the wind. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Um, once again, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And, um, you know, if you're from other traditions, I'd say, uh, uh, I don't know if it's right to say Happy Hanukkah. I think that's, is that right? Anyway, whatever your tradition, I wish you happiness and um that all of us humans love each other and forgive each other and be nice and have fun. Wing Chun's one of the great gifts for the future and I like to think of a future where lots of people know how to do it, even if it's just to help them open peanut paste jars or push broken down robots out of the way so you can get out your front door. <laughs> anyway, see you later, guys. Bye-bye.